Here we have our coffee station. This is done in socialite, full overlay, uh, graphite paint, and it also has cherry uh, French roast accents. Here we have our utility cabinet, and it, what I did here is I inverted the frame, so the smaller doors on the bottom, I added roll-out trays, increased the height. On the top here, I did a retractable door, which ends back. Keep in mind, whenever you do retractable doors, it will always come inset. Where you'll see the rest of this is in full overlay, this is an inset. Here we have our two deep drawers. This is just to show you that you can do partitions in various ways for silverware, Tupperware, trays, just numerous ways of doing that. Here we have our floating shelves, wall three drawer unit, and I did open finished interior on the top. Called out to have the interior be the cherry French roast, and we finished it off with Lumber Edge. Lumber Edge is not that expensive. I highly suggest it for anything with an open finished interior, unless, of course, if it's closed, if you're doing mullions. Base waste, single, 15, 15 single quart. We have a pull-out bamboo cutting board with the cutout, as far as for cutting vegetables up, where you can dump right into the garbage can. Another idea as far as for partitions. Up top here, what I did was I did a wood top and I turned it upside down so it would flow with the inch and a half rail. Here what we did is the gourmet shelf pantry. pantry. Again, I inverted the frame, added the rollouts in the bottom, and then you have the shelf unit up top. Finished off the cabinetry with the 2298 molding, which is a four-step, and it comes out of the box just like that.